Hey there film fans, today I'm going to talk to you about the New England folk horror tale, The Witch. The plot revolves around uh, a father, played by Finchie from The Office, hell of a good rap, and his uh, wife and four children, plus new baby on the way, who get cast out of their small village in New England, newly settled in America, um, and have to build their own settlement near some woods, having been banished. Soon after arriving there, the newly born baby is stolen, from in front of the um, oldest child and supernatural forces are suspected but then there's so much paranoia and religious tension within the group that they start to begin to suspect each other and things start to kind of cave in from there. I think first off we need to talk about the fact that the marketing for this film has been very off. I was expecting some type of horror of the traditional jumpy terrifying Big Bang, ah, cattle prods, screamy, jumpy, horror-y stuff. Um, which we're used to these days, that's what we define as horror really most of the time. Whereas this is more like a play, it's more of a drama. Although it is horrific, it's more to do with tension and building paranoia. Um, it's much more subtle and I feel that by marketing it in a certain way you're going to attract that kind of high school horror fan crowd which probably isn't going to respond as well to the film. Like basically I went in with no real assumptions because I hadn't really seen that much about it and I did enjoy it but I'm not sure that everyone would if they went in thinking that they were going to see something else. Basically the only thing I knew when I went in was that if you're scared of goats this probably isn't the film for you and I have to admit I am still a bit shocked of that like dancing singing goat from Drag Me To Hell. So yeah because there's only a few characters and it's quite simple settings it could be perhaps similar to things like The Crucible although People have compared to The Shining and I do think that's probably a more apt comparison to do with the building tension and it's more psychological, it's more to do with how people perceive it than perhaps what's actually happening. Another thing that might put people off slightly to start with is that it's set in New England and therefore they stick to the traditional dialect in oldie Englishy, um, which is initially a bit of a culture shock because it's kind of like, what the hell are they talking about? And then you just kind of have to adjust your ear, which you do quite quickly. There's a really good use of sound throughout this film in that a lot of it's completely silent and then when the music does kick in you kind of know something's coming, which I know is kind of done in a lot of movies but the complete silence mixed with the isolation is really quite powerful plus I mean I'm not a cinema expert I need to talk to my friend Dave Norris about this but I believe that the ratio in which it was set as I've heard from other critics was um, in a certain way that makes the isolation more obvious in that the trees are stretched higher um, so you do get this feeling of it's just these six people against the world. And what a world it is! I like a film which can be read in several different ways, and it means you can rewatch it and see it in several different ways. There's a superficial, supernatural version that you can see this film, and then there are the more collective paranoia, isolation, perhaps even hallucinations um, that might come with extreme loss and grief that you would feel and the terror of being sent off into the world on your own. Um, and yeah, building suspicions of the people around you. There are ways you can read this where it might have been completely non-supernatural but with the pressure of this incredible religious tension as well that they have this really strong religious belief behind them. You know, you can make... I, I can see the boogeyman in my cupboard if, you know, I look too quickly in the dark. So God knows what it must be like to be living out in the middle of nowhere with all of this stuff going on where your baby's just gone missing. Although if you read this literally then all animals are channeling Satan, particularly rabbits and goats. Looking at the religious angle it's kind of interesting that this has been adopted supposedly as a movie to support Satanism I believe, which you know I wouldn't personally have seen myself but then I'm not an expert on Christianity or on Satanism. Hey, I don't know anything about Satanism so I can't judge each their own. Overall though, I certainly didn't look at my watch, I certainly didn't go to the toilet, I was totally gripped by the entire storyline. There's some bits of it that I'm not sure I completely got, which would be nice to see a second time and understand them a little bit clearer. Um, I don't think it's a problem with the film, I feel that when you can read something in many different ways you want to kind of see it again and properly see your your feelings on it. Um, so that's not their fault that I'd like to see it again to clarify some things. That's me wanting to get some more from the material. What did you guys think though? Did you think it could have done with more scary scary girl witches or did you like it being a little bit more subtle and playing on your internal fears? Um, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.